hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time watching me you're welcome my name is Aida I am pleased that you're here to watch this video so if you're an OG thank you so much for coming back for another video so today's video is all about Fenty Beauty I know I've spoken about Fenty Beauty on this channel such that it's becoming a normal song but hey get used to because I just love Fenty Beauty products like seriously because she, she comes up with bomb products if something is nice talk about it if something is beautiful let everybody know you know I got your back so I have to tell you when there is something when there is a new product in town and if it is beautiful so this time she decided to come up with some bronzers and she also added to the kilowatt family an extra highlighter so in this video we're going to be testing some of these products i'll let you guys know what my thoughts are so that you guys can make an informed decision so the bottle that i decided to pick up this is caramel cutie it comes in the in this normal fenty beauty packaging you know it's just normal for fenty beauty to come out with one of the dope and very nice um packaging so once you open the package you have the highlighter which is a nice gold color like I love this I like the fact that it's really soft you can slide this in your purse and nobody will know you're having something in there like this is just so beautiful this is nice chic and this is like it looks expensive you know when you pull out this from your purse and be like da -da, people will be like oh my god that looks nice boy that game is rich but anyway so this is the bronzer and I decided to pick up the shade caramel cutie because I think that is the best bronzer for my skin tone so if you're using me as a shade with as a shade reference you can definitely pick up this and you won't be wrong like seriously trust me so once you open up the package you have on the normal Fenty Beauty um, thing in front and then at the back you have the shade of the uh, bronzer and this is caramel cutie look at that nice brown shade it's just so perfect and once you open it you have this whole beauty in here you have the fancy beauty um thing on top of it like i just like the way she does her packaging you have a mirror to look at yourself you don't have to carry an extra mirror you can carry this and you are good to go so in it you have this beautiful nice brown shade of bronze like hey nobody can go wrong with this you know there's some bronzers out there that look a little bit gray once you apply it some look like black but seriously i just love the fact that this is a nice brown color and i do like when my face look more brown than when it looks gray like seriously so i really do like this bronzer because it just complements my skin tone now if you don't know anything about um bronzers normally you, you apply bronzers after um on your face after your foundation because after you apply your foundation your face is all one color it's just uniform so in order to bring back that natural um definition on your face or the natural depth or the natural or the natural warmth you need a bronzer or you might want to contour but this is not a contour this is a bronzer so this just gives you the natural warmth that your face would normally have without foundation so that is what bronzers are used for it's used just so you know around the perimeters of your face just to bring that natural warmth that you naturally have also in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to use this and let you know how I like it and trust me this is beautiful you won't go wrong with this so if you need if, if you're looking for a nice bronzer be my guest go to Sephora and pick you some caramel cutie if you're my skin tone and you can also get it online if you're one of those mommies who stay home you don't have time to go to Sephora you can get it from online at fentybeauty.com so be my guest get this and you will and your mouth to tell me thank you then another thing that she also came up with she added some extra shades or some other um other highlighters to the kilowatt family so she added afternoon snack and more honey it comes in the natural in the normal fenty beauty packaging just like the other one and once you bring it out you have this nice milky white color you know which has the fenty beauty name right in front and at the back you have the shade of highlighter and this is afternoon snack and more honey once you open it i love anything any highlighter that is um that is champagne -y to gold i prefer it on my skin tone i like the i like the way it looks on me or the i mean the different shades of highlighter that you can use if you like all those bright 
yellow and stuff like that you can definitely do that but me i like to look good and i'm using my money to i'm using my money to on these things hey i don't want to buy something that i'm just using just for video that i won't be able to use after it doesn't make no sense you have to be wise when you're spending your money so once you open up this you have this nice gold nice almost like champagne color shade of highlighter i love this like seriously look at my cheek ah my god this is sickening just look at the highlighter right there boom you know you know you have a good highlighter when i look at you when i'm looking at you i shouldn't see this your highlighter when i'm looking at you straight in your face but once you turn to the side bam i should be able to see it that's when you know you have some you have a good highlighter but once i'm looking at you and i'm seeing this it means your highlighter is just sitting on top of your cheeks and that is not cute but once you turn to your side and i see it i know that definitely that is what you need for your life girl that is a tip for you if you if you like highlighting and things like that just make sure you get something that complements your skin tone and that's just sitting on your cheeks you know it doesn't look cute and um look at the nose nice and highlighted as well so if you need a good shade of bronze of, of bronzer and you need a good highlighter once over right now get you some fancy beauty because you will not regret it trust me and i promise you on this you will not regret it it is perfect so in this video i'm going to show you guys how i use it like i said before it's perfect it's just see you will not regret it so you already know where i stand it is a yes for me so go ahead pick it up and your mouth to tell me thank you so if you want to see how i achieve this look with this normal with this nice you know with the lips stay tuned and i'll talk to you in this video Thank you for sticking to the end. So guys, I know that this video is all about the new Fenty Beauty bronzer that just came out and the new kilowatt um, highlighter, but um, I decided to do my eyeshadow look so that you guys can see, just so that you have something to work with, you know. If it's something that you like, then you can recreate. So um, for the eyeshadow, I'm, I'm going to use the 3502 palette from Morphe. And um, I'm going to use just two shades in this palette. I'm going to use this shade right here which is a nice burgundy color this one and i'm also going to use the black color so those are the two shades those are the two colors i'm going to use if you have something if you have a palette that has these colors you can definitely use that you don't have to go buy this palette in order to recreate this look so let's jump right into it so i'm going to take that burgundy color and i'm just going to put that all over my eyelid I'm going to go with a blending brush just like this and I'm going to blend it. I'm using just that same shade. I'm not using any other shade. I'm just going to start to blend it and make my way. So once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go now with a bigger blending brush. See that one right there? I'm going to put up, go back with a bigger blending brush and I'm just, with there's nothing on the brush. And I'm just going to try to uh, diffuse the edges just so that it doesn't look too harsh. See what I'm saying? As compared to this other side. You just use a clean blending brush once you have something like this and you feel like it's too harsh at the end use a clean blending brush and you just blend it out it's going to look as blended as much as possible so i'm going to do the same thing on the same on this other eye blend 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 blend, blend. Okay, now I'm going to go now into the black color. I'm going to use a pencil block um, brush 
I'm going to go into that black color and all I want to do is to put that color just on my um, So I'm just going to blend it out. It's now time to blend. So before we continue the eyes, I'm just going to apply my eyes, my um, foundation, do my highlighting and all of that good stuff. And um, we come back and complete the face. So I'm just going to wipe my waterline with a black eyeshadow with a black, black liner. I'm just going to smudge that. Then I'm going to go back now into the red, into that burgundy color that we used earlier on. I'm just going to smudge that underneath my eyelid so now that the eyes are done the base is completed let's jump right into the master of the show so like I said earlier on Fenty Beauty came out with some bronzers if you don't know what bronzers are they are like a darker shade of powder that you can use to warm up your face. You know, after putting on foundation, your face is all, you know, one shade or just one color. And, you, and we don't want something like that, seriously. So the bronzers are just used to warm up your face. So you just take your brush and you just, you know, pick up some of the shade. Just like that, you tap up some of the excess and you go on your jawline. I normally just suck, up, suck in my jawline. Wow. like it adds a, just a little bit of dimension I mean I like to go like soft and then a beauty that's just go like full swing and then you're, you're trying to blend it out so I like to go soft wow I love that like it it adds just the perfect shade of bronzer that you need or for my skin tone like it's just so perfect like seriously I love 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 I've been struggling to get like a perfect um, bronzer and I think this is just like um, this is like a perfect shade like if you guys see it adds just the amount of of definition that I need like you see my forehead and I like the fact that even when you you swirl your brush in the powder it doesn't come out too much like look at that even when I do all of that, like it doesn't come out too much, which is really, really, really good. You see my forehead, like it looks all blended right into my hairline. And that's what you should be going for when you want to bronze up your face. This is just so beautiful. Like I love this. Love, love, love it. Wow. This is not meant for contouring. It's just meant just to add some warmth to your face, just to bring some more dimension or something. It's not meant to for contouring and things like that. Contouring, you can use another product, but this is just to bring you, give you some definition. And I love, love, love this. Then you go underneath your jawline and you just make sure everything is nice and blended. And I think I picked up the perfect shade for my skin tone. Like I said, this is Caramel Cutie. Oh, I love this. Wow. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. See, no matter the amount of product that I add, like it's not too much, like it just gives you the perfect bronzing that you definitely do need. 
So I'm just going to um, do that on my nose as well. Here's my nose. Um, I don't have my nose brush. I like this. Like seriously, there's some bunches that can look a little bit ashy on you, but this gives me just the perfect amount of brown that I need on my face. Like seriously, this is so perfect. So I like to start from up here and I walk my way down. And you, the walls of your nose, you don't need a, a lot. Like seriously, because if you put too much, then it looks like you have just two lines running down the side of your nose. Just a little bit, a little bit. Okay. And you run it down, just like so. And you run it down from on top. So let's see. You guys just look at my face from that bronzer like it makes it gives me just the perfect amount of brown that i need seriously like this is life this is giving me all the different dimensions of life that i need you see how it blends into my neck like perfectly this is a win-win-win situation so i'm just going to um you know put my washing board up there just like so touch both of them i'm going to Right here. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. You see what I'm saying? You see how that complements like my skin tone? You see how that shows up? Oh wow. Oh wow. Ouch. 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 Wow. I think the highlighter was for pets dollars as well. Ooh. Ooh. I just want jackpot. This is a jackpot situation, guys. Tip of my nose, you see that? Boom, boom, back. And the bridge of my nose, just a little bit. I don't need too much. I keep it small. This is it. I'm also going to highlight my flower bone. The same highlight Wow. Wow. This is beautiful. how beautiful that highlight that is and I'm also going to highlight my inner tear up because why not I don't know that I have a brush for that and I get a lot of big stuff See how that shows up? Perfect. Perfect though. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I just really love a champagne gold um, highlighter. 
I'm very sure that the other hair lighters out there that can do a good job. But hey, when you find something that you like, why change? You're looking for a good highlighter? Try this. You won't regret it. For my lips, I'm going to use my solid lip paint um, lipstick. So guys, here we go. This is a finished look. I love the way this turned out. I love the bronzer. I love the highlighter. Like, just look at my face. Like, you cannot really tell the difference between my hairline and the bronzer. Like, seriously, it's that beautiful. That's why I love it. See, just see that natural brown. That's what I need. I don't need no ashy look. I don't look no gray look. I looks I need something brown and that's what this is giving me it's giving me life. Like I love this face. I like the way it turned out. I hope you guys did like it. Leave a comment for me in the comment section below. What do you think about this product? If you've tried it before, what are your thoughts? If you're going to try it, let me know what you think about it. So thank you so much for watching this video again. Thank you so much for the support. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Like seriously, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, if this is your first time watching me, if you want to be part of IG Transformation, please go ahead and hit on the subscription button down below. It should be on your right hand side, on your right hand side, which is my left. And um, do not forget to turn on the bell button, guys. Please turn on the bell button just so that when I upload, you will be notified. So thank you so much for watching this video. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Until then, stay blessed and remember you are the original. There is no photocopy. There is no counterfeit of you. You are unique and you are special in the eyes of God. Do not allow anybody to tell you otherwise. And you don't need anybody to tell you that to feel accepted. You have to accept yourself first before people can accept you. So thank you so much for watching this video. Until then, stay blessed and be good to yourself. Love yourself. Go out there. Be beautiful. And peace out.